Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's your boy Fat Crypto. And today I'm going to be doing a technical analysis on Avalanche. I've spoken about Avalanche, I've done a coin overview. I'll put um, a little banner up up here if you want to see a full coin overview. Uh, I go into the technology, the team, the uh, why I think it's such an amazing project. Um, and yeah, today I want to give a quick technical analysis. Have it, um, uh, I know the market's dipped, but... Um, I'm seeing I'm seeing pretty nice signs on uh, Avalanche if I'm being completely honest. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, just sh showing what I see. Uh, I'd, I'd I'd like to point out that I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is uh, financial advice. Please do your own research. Um, you know everything could go to zero. Uh, also, just a, a a little note: if you are interested in buying some Avalanche or um, some other cryptos, I've got a Binance link uh, in the description. Uh, by using that link, you'll help me out. 10% of the commission they take will come to me, but then 10% of the commission they take will also be returned back to you. So we're both winning here. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So what am I seeing on Avalanche right now? There's, uh, uh, if you see any of my other videos, I haven't changed anything. My resistance boxes and my buy zones have remained exactly the same. And one thing you can probably see, that buy zone that I created, even though I said, oh, I might never be hit, but I create, the, create these buy zones. And this is exactly the reason why I create these buy zones. These are good opportunities to buy, in my opinion. I expect it to hit, if it hits its prices, to be quickly bought up. You can see in the coin overview or my other technical analysis, this buy zone has stayed exactly the same. And you can see how it wicked exactly into that buy zone. Mind you, my buy zone was between $21 to $24. As soon as it hit, it came into this region and you can see very quickly bought up. And the thing I'd like to add, this descending triangle that it was consolidating between since the 11th of February, it broke out. I, that's when I made the video. It broke out and it retested and then it started to move up. And we can see we found resistance exactly in my resistance box, the second one, at $38 and 41 between 38 to 41 dollars and we've seen that rejection we then started to find support within my second resistance box which was acting as a support we tried here and then we had the big bitcoin dump and it's in, it's very interesting to see that this upper trend line forming that descending triangle is holding very strong right now as a support now if this continues to hold as a support we could see some very very positive price action for AVAX. Like I said, not a financial advisor, so please do your own research. But I'm thinking the fact that this is staying strong, this has been a long consolidation. We've had a lot of uh, updates with Avalanche, a lot of news. If you check there on the coin market, Cal, the past events and also the upcoming events, they've got a lot of a lot of stuff coming. They've had a lot of stuff and they've got a lot of stuff coming out. So when you take all of this into consideration, the fact that, in my opinion, it's a fantastic project, fantastic team. I think this is uh, set for, I mean, provided Bitcoin behaves himself, because uh, Bitcoin, we know Bitcoin sometimes likes to misbehave a little bit. But provided Bitcoin behaves itself, I think this is going to be, this is this could be very sweet. Um, it was it was starting to break out. Look, you can see it was forming higher highs, starting to move into that parabolic um uh, price action and uh, obviously Bitcoin and this happened. So if Bitcoin starts behaving itself, if everything goes back to normal, we could see some uh, some very positive price action for AVAX in my opinion. But yeah, it's been your boy Fat Crypto. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you liked it, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Let me know um, what you'd like to, why you didn't enjoy the video and what I should improve on. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.